As some of you may know, I am pretty active in the Oneonta Film Club uh, here at SUNY Oneonta. And uh, this is a film that was not even on my radar. I knew literally nothing about it. Um, and I heard it had Mads Mikkelsen in it, and I was like, okay, fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, I watched this movie about a week and a half ago. I haven't been able to film in a while. I've been moving stuff around, so uh, it's been pretty crazy. But uh, this film has stuck with me the entire time. Like, I think at least once a day I think about this movie. So I'm really excited to finally give you my thoughts on another round. Another Round was released in 2020. It was written by Thomas Vinterberg and Tobias Lindholm and directed by Thomas Vinterberg. Now, no spoilers, but the general idea is it's about uh, these four high school teachers in uh, a foreign country of some sort. I forget which one. Um, and they decide to day drink to experiment, to experiment whether it would change like their social life or their professional life with teaching and stuff. And they go through a couple levels where they just drink to their 0.05 uh, BAC and they go farther and they go really far until something tragic happens and then they have to learn to live with what they've done and kind of trying to figure out how to make this relationship with alcohol safe and, you know, make it work. Now, as someone who just turned 21, this definitely did have an impact on me. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a big drinker. I've got some lager here. I love it so much. Mm. But uh, what we have to realize here, first of all, is this is a foreign country, probably in Europe, and they have a very different relationship with alcohol. In the United States, we have a negative kind of thought on alcohol. You're like, oh, that guy drinks alcohol. He's probably a drunk. It's not. It's not true. Um, whereas in Europe, you know, they drink in high school a lot. It's like a normal thing. And they drink most nights. It's like a normal thing uh, in Europe. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I drink most days. I don't see a problem with it. Um, but it's really cool to see that kind of casual relationship. Because like Mads Mikkelsen's character, who's the main character, he is a wonderful, wonderful job. Mads Mikkelsen has became one of my top favorite actors after seeing this movie. Um, and they kind of just talk to the kids like, how much do you drink? Like, oh, I drink quite a bit. I drink a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it, really what the movie's about, when it comes down to it, is it's about Mads Mikkelsen in, in particular learning to cope with alcohol and learning to figure out how to find a balance and relationship with it. Um, which I think is just wonderful because you go from kind of this guy who doesn't really drink a whole lot, he doesn't really see the, the, the pleasure in it, he doesn't really care. So doing the experiment and, and learning that, you know, Alcohol in the right setting and at the right time can be really good. It can help you kind of be better socially. It can help you be better professionally even. Um, and then, you know, you just got to make sure you don't go overboard and you got to make sure you don't do it at the wrong time. And at the end, uh, there's this, this isn't really a spoiler, but it is at the end. Uh, there's this really big celebration, basically. There's graduation day. Everyone's graduating. And Mads Mikkelsen's character, after a little while of not drinking, decides, oh, what the heck, I'll have a beer. And he drinks... And then he does this magnificent dance sequence um, where he just dances around to this awesome song. Uh, I think it's by Scarlet Pleasure. It's called What a Life. And I love this song so much now. It's in my, it's everywhere. I listen to it all the time. And just this dance was so emotional for me. I didn't expect to get emotional in this film. And by, by the time he's dancing around, I'm just like, oh, it's a celebration of life. I get it now. It's a celebration that, like... He's, he's okay, he's found a good balance of alcohol, he can, he can drink it, he can leave it, he can take it, and it's, it's just this really beautiful story by the end of it that I think is really, really touching. The performances in this movie are all around fantastic. Um, we talked at Film Club about how it's kind of a, um, that kind of filmmaking style where they use mostly just natural light around, and they don't use, like, you know, ring lights like I'm using or anything. I mean, they obviously wouldn't for a film, but you know what I mean. They don't use actual light fixtures that aren't already found in the house. Um, and it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful film. It is a little long, but I don't even care. I can't wait to watch this movie again. I'm going to go ahead and give another round an A+. Plus. Have you guys seen another round? Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about it. I just, I love it so much. It is very, very quickly become perhaps like my favorite film of all time like i 
I love this so much. It's 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 definitely at least top five in terms of influence on me. Like I just feel very different after having watched this film. And that's not something I could say about most films. So um, I'm really happy to say that this is an excellent, excellent film. Please check it out if you haven't already. And please consider subscribing. It helps you out a whole lot. I would truly appreciate it. So subscribe and find your next movie at Robert's Reviews. Mm -hmm.